All right, Matt Morrow, the pet man, Charlotte Football Insiders. We're back once again. Uh, very excited to talk with a very talented young man from Catawba Ridge in South Carolina. Uh, was a big reason why they were make they made the state semifinals in their second year of existence of the school. I mean, just an incredible season, incredible story. And uh, we're very excited to talk with athlete. And I say that because he's literally all over the field. Uh, Caden Hager for the Catawba Ridge Copperheads. I'm going to bring him on right now. All right, Caden, how we doing, man? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good, man. I appreciate your time today. Uh, sure. We're doing this to kind of uh, showcase unsigned seniors, you know, out here in the process. And I'm shocked that you're unsigned. But um, hopefully after this, we're able to, you know, show some coaches, um, you know, the abilities that you have on the field. Um, so first off, I want to ask you, um, in your opinion, what are you? What are your strengths as a player on the football team? Um, I think as a player, my strengths are my quickness. I'm pretty quick from laterally side to side. Um, a very underrated strength for my size, and I think that catches defenses off guard when they try to bring me down. It's how strong I am. And then breakaway speed. I think I have good breakaway speed to score touchdowns and make big plays off runs or even catching passes. In the next level. Absolutely. So you played both sides of the ball, offense and defense, played quarterback, played, you know, running back. I know you had some passes thrown to you. Uh, what would be your preferred position on the next level? Um, it doesn't really matter. Whatever helps the team win. I'm just here to, you know, help the team win games. All right. Awesome. Love that answer, man. Uh, so what are you looking for, ideally, from a college on the next level? I'm just looking for somewhere that could, you know, be a good fit for me, somewhere that could win, help me win football game and become a better man and a better person. All right. Excellent. So, so you would say you're pretty open to kind of any kind of situation? Oh, yes, sir. Definitely. Okay. All right. Good deal. Uh, so now I want to ask you, why should a college give you an offer and let them kind of, give you a decision on whether you want to attend that school for the next four years? I think one thing that really separates me is my leadership. I mean, I'm a two-time captain up. Houston Hopper Ridge has only been open for two years. I was a captain both years. So I think my leadership skills, for me being a captain voted for, by my teammates twice, is something that speaks for itself. Um, I can help the team in multiple ways, offensively or even defensively. Uh, I can play linebacker, safety, or corner on defense. I can offense. I can play quarterback, running back, or receiver. I can just really fit in with with whatever you need. And I think my work ethic is one thing. Another thing that separates me myself because I've worked so hard, especially this off season that just happened this last off season during COVID. I worked so hard to just get to where I am today. Yeah, definitely. And that hard work continued because you were just at our camp um, not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago. And, you know, I think you were one of the best performers there at the running back position. So Thank you. Um, even even after a great senior year, you're still out here, you know, grinding and, and working hard. And that's to be commended. So that's awesome. Man. Uh, I'm going to bring in our player analyst, Justin Adams, and then we're going to, um, you know, start taking a look at your film right here. So let's get that up. Yes, sir. All right. All right. So let me get it back to the beginning here. All right. So first off, um, right here, you're at quarterback, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, a little zone read. Man, I mean, this this is just incredible right here. This is incredible. All right, take us through your thought process here on this play, Kid. So when I was reading here, I read the um, the linebacker, the end's eyes. And I saw he was looking at a running back the whole time, so I knew I could pull it. As soon as I pulled it, mm -hmm. he kind of like somebody came, and I, had to, I just had to cut in real quick. And then I saw an opening to the outside, cut back out, and then – I just rest this touchdown, man. I mean, here's the, the the funny thing about this is you read it correctly and then you make the cut. And then it's like, you know, 
you're not even at full speed and you're just pulling away from these guys. <laughs> that, that's that's the crazy thing to me. Yeah. Uh, Justin, what are your thoughts on this play right here? Like I was saying, man, uh, it was a great play. You went into the inside, you you cut out, you made an athletic play, and now you score for your team. So uh, look at that. That was great. That was great vision. Uh, that's an athletic play, man. It's a great athletic play. And I, and I can see you got speed as well. They couldn't catch you on the back end. He, uh, even with the people trying to take angles, they still couldn't get you. So uh, like I said, man, it was a great play. Now, this one, we were there because this was the second round playoff game against Irmo. And I remember seeing this, and I'm like, as soon as you broke the line, I was like, he's going to score. <laughs> All right, so what are we looking at here, Kid? Um, Well, I'm pretty sure it was like third down or something. And we had a pass play called. We had a switch concept. And I didn't really see nobody open, so I just took off, had a cutback lane, and scored but I packed back block by Jacoby right there. So, yeah, I was gonna say yeah. I didn't. Rem- I don't remember seeing that before. Different angle. That was nasty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Justin, what do you got here? Mm. Took some of my angles out, didn't you? Go back, run right that back. <laughs> I must have missed that too. Let me see. Look at look at look at seventy seventy six. Oh. oh yeah. Oh wow. I <laughs> uh, made it eat grass. Okay. Hey, another <laughs> another athletic play. Like I said. Um, he scrambles out to the to the right side. He cuts it back in and goes in for the touchdown. So, hey man, this is I can tell you very athletic, man. Like I said, you you can play both sides of the field. Um, you know how to read defenses. Uh, you know how to play defense. So, hey man, I can tell you're a smart kid because you got to know both playbooks. You know what I mean? So, yes, sir. hey man, you you're showing it on the field. You're showcasing it on the field for sure. And like I said, uh, at the at the camp, you uh, you did your thing as well. So we already know what type of athlete you are with that. Uh, I see a lot of bounce. I see a lot of bounce out plays, man. With you, man, people just can't get you down with that one, with that mm-hmm. one tip, or one one tackle. So <laughs> I can see that you uh, put a lot of work in the weight room as well. Yes, sir. With, uh, with, with being explosive, uh, and that's that's one thing people want to see uh, at the next level. And yeah, like I said, you showcasing that. All on this film, as as sure as you did on the, uh, at uh, at the camp as well. So, sure, sure. keep up the yeah. Game. That's the impressive thing on this play right here. Just and you said it, Caden. Your your strength is underrated, and yeah. it's evident right here because this kid, you know, that's a down lineman, you know, playing off the block and has you dead for rights, and you just slip that tackle, and then you're out the back door. I mean. You don't see that. You don't see that kind of stuff from, you know, most kids your size. Right. And then once again, the pull away speed is impressive. Um, you know, that's just another another great play. What was this play? Just a quarterback lead or something? Basically, yeah. It was a quarterback lead. It okay. was like four minutes. Mm-hmm. Trying to get the first down, keep the drive alive, okay. and broke one. That's great. Nice. Too. It's impressive. Yes, yes. Thank you. All right. Nice. You on defense here? Yes, sir. I'm up. I'm actually. Uh, you go back to the formation. I'm actually lined up over the slot at the top of the screen. Okay. You don't right here. You want slot in there, right? All right. Okay. All right, so what's your thought process on this, Caden? Um, well, I hit – so when he catches this little curl route here, I hit him and I knocked the ball loose. Mm-hmm. And I, thought, I thought it was going to be an incomplete pass, but I didn't hit a whistle blow, so I picked it up and started running and scored. So quick question. What did you notice on this play? I see that you uh, you kind of shipped it over to the left as the play uh, before, right before the snap. What did you notice right before the uh, before the play began? Uh, I was just trying to get in between the number two and number three receiver. Okay, make sure because I I had hook curl on this coverage. So, got you, got you. 
Yeah, this is against Nations Ford and Carson Black. I mean, their offense is, you know, definitely probably one of the best in the area. Um, I'm a little confused on the concept because you got two guys <laughs> right there. So I think they had a little miscommunication on that. But, um, you know, it's great recognition to, you know, number one, force the fumble, recover it, and then have the smarts to know the whistle didn't blow. So I'm going to go make a play. And, um, you know, you did that. So, you know, another another great example of you being very cerebral on the football field. Um, and that's too – oh, all right. This one was incredible to me. This – this I've never seen this in – 13 years of coaching and six years of covering, you know, high school football. I mean, this is incredible. I'm just going to let it play. Quarterback sneak. I mean, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> Who does that, man? I mean, once again, this is an example of strength, you know, like we talked about before. I mean, Caden, what, what happened? <laughs> I got a good push from my uh, teammates Brody Testimali. Um help help really helped me get through there. And once I realized like I wasn't down, the whistle didn't blow, I could just keep running. I just took off. Wow. J Justin, what, what you got on this? Hey, this is a great play. Like I said, I know the defense coordinator on the other on the other side is probably breaking his clipboard after he saw this. <laughs> um, yeah, man, it was, it was great, a great wow. awareness. And you, it looked like they stood you up and you just you kept pushing through. Oh, yeah, a little sack action. All right, let's take a look at this. All right, what we got here at the snap, Caden? Um, so right before the snap, my coach, my defensive coordinator, Coach Rust, was just yelling at me just to go. It's third and long situation. Just wanted me to go. There's only one receiver in my side. So I just went and went untouched and got, got me a nice sack. All right. Oh, wow. I mean, the speed off the edge is very good right here. Um. Good form tackle. The quarterback doesn't have a chance to break that. Um, I mean, that's just a great play. I mean, the running back, I think, is the one supposed to pick you up. But he just didn't have a clue. Um, Justin, you got any thoughts on this one? Those are the fun plays right there. When you just come in untouched, get straight to the quarterback. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. That was great speed. Like I said, you got you got there. Uh, when they send you, you got to go. And you know what I'm saying? But that's that's one thing that coaches don't like when you they send you on the blitz and you don't get there and you made sure that the quarterback got down. So, hey, definitely someone I would want to have on my team for sure. All right, back on offense right here. Oh wow, this play design was this is the next. Nasty. Was this the right next? Was this the next drive after the same the same it game? Was, or it was, it was later in the game though. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. All right, so take us through this one. I like this play. This Coach Lindak came up with a great design. We've actually been working on this. We wanted to run it uh, my junior year a lot more, but unfortunately didn't get to do that. Mm. But this year, we definitely got it a couple times, and this one just happened to break. Mm. I mean, that, I'm going to tell you, this is fake, sweet quarterback trap. I mean – that's that's some nasty stuff right there. Yeah, that's man. some nasty stuff. Shout out to the I mean OC, with, with the I mean with the jet in motion on top of that, that's incredible. I mean, that's really, really good stuff. But then Caden, once again, you make it happen on this. You got a good uh nice kick out block from big 79 right there. Yeah. Good block up top by the receiver. And then once again, your speed takes it to the house, man. Just that's really, really good stuff right here. Yeah, man, that was a good way of selling that play for sure. And I'm pretty sure that all eyes were on you as well. And they went, they saw the running back kicking out, so they probably tried to follow the running back as well. But I, like I said, you made that play happen. Um, 
after the athletic play, man. That was a great throw. Yeah, I'm going to tell you why this is a great throw. Justin, I want you to go first on this one. Roll out. <laughs> It's athletic, man. Hey, the way the way you can move side to side is uh is is dangerous, man. Especially with the quarterback because they can't touch you. You know what I'm saying? You can make plays. You see Patrick Mahomes a lot. He how he rolls out, keeps plays alive with his athleticism. So and that, you kind of show that similar characteristic which you showcase right here on this play. Like you kept the, you kept the play alive and you you threw it up and there you go a touchdown. So mm-hmm. like I said, man, athleticism, man, that's. You definitely, you definitely have a lot of that for sure. Thank, you. Thank you. All right, Caden, take us through this play right here. What what you have? This play, um, it was the first round of the playoffs. It was like the first drive of the game. I think like the fourth or fifth play of the game, and we had mm-hmm. a motion into a flood concept down here to the bottom to the top of the screen, and then we had man on the yeah. backside, and I knew my receiver. Take the him one on one, and I got mm-hmm. you know, a little pressure, make a miss, and stood up there. Let my receiver go make a play. All right, so here's here's what I'm gonna say here. This is incredible because, as you did on a couple plays before, 15 down here at the bottom just comes free. The difference is, you felt him, you made a miss, stop, planted, 91's bearing down on you right here. And you put it up, and Quentin Jackson, I know he's a great player, but, I mean, you put it in a place where he can go make a play. I mean, he doesn't have to really break stride too much. And he's able to high point the ball right there and then go score. I mean, to make that kind of play, quarterback is, you know, not your natural position. Um, That shows an incredible amount of growth because – you know, I saw some stuff from when you started playing the quarterback position. I mean, you were a great runner, um, but your passing progression throughout this senior year was incredible, man. I mean, from when we saw you guys early in the season to when we came down to Irmo was night and day offensively. And, you know, you're a big, big reason for that. And, um, you know, I think that's just a reflection on whatever position you play, your ability to, you know, make plays, learn the offense and the defense as you were playing both sides of the ball. Um, it just makes you an incredible, incredible player and an athlete. I mean, I can't say that enough. Thank you, um, thank you. I mean, there's another example. Of, yeah, you're welcome. There's another example of a great run play right there. I mean, once again, here's another great pass right here in stride to dot. Clinton. For the, yes, I want to see that one again. Caden, take us through that one right there. Hmm. Well, I can see the corner. He's um he's man up. Mm-hmm. He's not even focused on really anything. Quentin just beats him, and this is right before the half too. So I just put it out there, let him go get it. This playoff game, right? Yes, sir. I mean, that's great. That's great stuff right there. In stride, beautiful. Just dropping it in the bucket. That's perfect. All right, let's do one more right here. Look like a natural quarterback right there. That one. I mean, this is against Irmo again, right? Yes, sir. I mean, <laughs> it's just, this is, you know, I tell you. I can't give you enough superlatives on what I'm seeing right here. I mean, just the fact that, you know, we were at this one. I remember seeing this one, the tip pick. That sealed the game against York in week two. I remember that one. But just the amount of different things you're doing on the field is is incredible. Um, The ability to learn so many different aspects of offense and defense in one season. Um, the running athletic ability, the, the strength. I mean, I think it's a full package right here. I mean, and then your character is off the charts, you know. I mean, just Thank captain you. for two years in a row. Um, you know, you carry yourself well, you have good grades. Um, yeah, I think you were named conference player of the year. I mean, as this all the superlatives are there 
to support what we see on on film here. I mean, it's it's awesome. So thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, Justin. What are your final thoughts here? As uh, like I said, as an athlete, man, if he's someone that can play both sides of the ball, as a leader, like you said, he's a captain two times in a row. Um, it's just a guy you want to have on your team, you know. Somebody is, is going to make the team better. Uh, is a hard worker. Like I said, he he's been to the camp as a as a running back. He played quarterback. As you can see, you saw you talked about his arm. How his arm got better uh, with over the year. That just shows the hard work he put in over the course of the two years of him uh, switching positions. And uh, and like I said, you still have to learn the, the defensive playbook as well as the offensive playbook. And you know, what I'm saying he got that down packed. So that just shows you. How, how dedicated he is to the game and uh, how, how how able he's able to learn and pick up on things um, for the team and uh, to get, you know what I'm saying, to help your team and win. So, hey, it's the way to go. Awesome. Awesome. Good stuff, man. Caden, man, we appreciate the time today. And, um, you know, hopefully this will open some more coaches' eyes and give you some more opportunities to where you can make a great decision on what you want to do you know, for the next four or five years on the college level. So once again, man, I appreciate it so much. I appreciate you for having me. Thank you. Oh, man.